Welcome to Dashway Talks, a show powered by Dashway Consulting, a China-based strategic market research company founded in 2010. Hello, I'm Mark Gordon, founder of Asian Risk Management Services. We are an insurance broker specialized in general insurance. General insurance provides coverage in every situation where an accident may occur. We help our clients to mitigate risk they may face through insurance coverage. We combine an international and local expertise. What is the coverage of credit insurance? Credit insurance cover uh, the failure of uh, from customer of the customer uh, to pay invoices due and related to pros- um, purchase transactions made. Uh, it can cover both trades of good or provision of services, uh, invoices due by um, the buyers, account receivables, are seen as a credit made by the, uh, the, the insurer, the, the seller, uh, to the buyers. One condition regarding um, the coverage of these steps is it, it is as, <coughs> so is it has to be undisputed debts, uh, meaning there is no potential litigation about the purchase agreement or the service agreement. There are t- uh, two kind, two types of covers. The first one is domestic credit insurance, which cover all the transactions made where the company, uh, the seller is uh, registered and operates. The second is um, Demi- uh, credit export insurance that cover uh, the all transaction made outside of the country of residence of the, uh, the seller. What is the difference between the domestic credit insurance and export credit insurance in respects of risk covered? The difference is credit insurance cover what we call political risk occurring in the country of the buyers. Political risk are non-payment of uh, undisputed debt by uh, foreign buyers, all kind of political event uh, that prevent the buyers to make payment of uh, the invoice due. For instance, war in the country of a buyer, change of law or regulation prohibiting the export of goods or provision of services from the country of the sellers, restriction imposed in terms of uh, uh, currency transfer, inconvertibility of the currency of a, buy, of a country of the buyers. In case of a covered loss, is the indemnification the insured can receive equal to all the trade contract amount? Usually, uh, the indemnity paid by the insured is about 90% of the receivable uh, deemed as credit. In addition to this, there might be a deductible or what we call an excess, which is part of the claim not indemnified uh, by the insurer. So let us, uh, let us take an example. Um, if the credit limit uh, approved by the buyer, uh, by the insurer so is 1 million, uh, the maximum indemnity uh, will be uh, 900,000 RMB. Uh, in addition to this, there might be uh, what we call an excess or deductible of, let's say, uh, 20,000. So the maximum uh, the insurer may indemnify, uh, indemnify is uh, one, uh, 80, uh, 8,000 um, RMB. Can the insured apply for a credit limit for certain buyers instead of all its buyers? Why? So the insurer uh, may select to apply uh, for credit uh, insurance only for uh, for all buyers or only for a part of them, depending on the perception uh, he has about uh, the buyer's financial capability. For instance, a company having uh, 30% of its uh, turnover is um, business made with uh, multi-large, multinational, large multinational uh, company may decide, may decide not to cover uh, this company under uh, its credit uh, insurance policy. Um, another, in addition to that, uh, the limit uh, has to be adjusted to the volume of sales 
and for each buyers there is a, a different limit. The, lim the limit may uh, must be approved by the insurer. Usually, uh, the insurer is checking for the financial situation of each buyer. Then uh, he will make a decision about uh, approving, uh, decreasing or declining to provide cover for each buyer. Any questions? We will find an expert to answer them. Drop your questions in the comments or send us an email dx at dashwayconsulting.com.